two weeks, but no arrests in a family massacre. Tonight, for the first time, we're hearing from a family member who made the shocking discovery. And good evening, everybody. I'm Mike Dardis. And I'm Sheree Palello. Donald Stone, as you can imagine, is still heartbroken and shocked by what he saw in a Pike County living room. And the fact that no arrests have still been made. After learning about the murders of seven family members near Piketon, he went to his cousin Kenneth Roden's home. Stone says that he was worried about his cousin's safety and remains troubled now by one possible clue he discovered. I hollered at Kenneth. I said, Kenneth, can you hear me? No response. I turned around and looked at Luke. I said, Luke, I said, you don't need to see this. I walk up to the foot of the bed and I <clears throat> raised my head up and looked and seen blood in his eyes. And I knew then he was dead. A little different than money. I seen money laying on the bed. I found that odd. Stone says he was unaware of any possible illegal activity at the home, but he did see several marijuana plants on the property. Now, moments after finding the bodies, Stone called 911. Authorities found marijuana grow operations at three of the four crime scenes. That has now led to speculation that the killings may be drug related. The state crime lab is analyzing more than 100 pieces of evidence right now. Investigators have also fielded more than 450 tips and interviewed nearly 100 130 people. Investigators are still asking anyone with information to call this number 855 BCI Ohio.